Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there's an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Hello Grade Threes and welcome to My Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is Safety for Cyclists, Plant and Growth. Before we get into any lessons, boys and girls, we need to sanitize. Remember, it's very important that every time we sanitize, we make sure both hands are covered. So, sanitize very well and regularly to keep yourself safe. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we will be doing vocabulary, fractions, and reading comprehension. To start our lesson today, boys and girls, let's all turn to page three. On page three, we are going to be doing vocabulary. Now we're gonna take a look at our vocabulary words and our sight words as well. For our vocabulary words today, we have pedestrian, vehicle, traffic, cyclist, bicycle. Now, as always, we have vocabulary words to broaden our words when we are writing and speaking. So we need to know the meaning of each of these words. A pedestrian is someone who travels by foot. They are walking from one place to another. A vehicle can be anything like a bus, a car, or a truck. Anything that travels on the road is a vehicle, except for a bicycle. Then we have traffic. Now traffic is when the vehicle, bicycles, motorbikes are all moving on the road. Normally we find traffic is at its heaviest in the mornings and in the evenings when people are coming from school and also going to work. Those are the main times when traffic is high. Then we have cyclists. These are people who ride bicycles. Now, as you can see, we have a pictures, pic four pictures below showing someone who is riding a bicycle. We will explain these ones later on. Then the last word that we have is bicycle, which is actually what we can see from the back on the pictures. Now, we are going to talk about what this person is doing on the bike. As you can see, their hands are moving in different ways. The first one is showing his hand stretched out to the left. This means that he is about to turn left. The next one that we can see where the hand is raised up high, that one can either mean stopping or he's stopping or he has stopped or 
he is about to turn right. Another signal for turning right is the next one, where the right hand is also extended out. Then the last one that we can see where his hand is down but still showing a sign is saying that he is about to move into the lane, the lane that the vehicle behind him is in. So, if you become a cyclist, these are the things that you have to know. So now that we know our vocabulary words, let's move on to our sight words. We have the words old, his, by, work, goes, and or. It's now going to be your job to make sentences by using the following vocabulary words. Traffic, pedestrian, and bicycle. Remember boys and girls, do not forget your capital letters at the beginning of the sentences and your full stops. Take your time, say your sentences out loud, and I'll see you when you're done after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. Next for our lesson, boys and girls, I'd like us to turn to page four. On page four, we are going to be doing fractions. It's going to be our job to color sections of each of the circles model for each fraction. Now, I know fractions are not new to us, boys and girls. We have done them in grade two, but drawing them may be new. So let's try and do the first one together, and then we're going to do the rest as we go along. Let's take a look at the board. I have two over four which means I am going to make two quarters. I'm going to color them. But in order for me to do that, I have been given a blank or a whole number. So we're going to cut it up into quarters. The first thing you're going to need, boys and girls, is a ruler. Please do not do this without one. We need a ruler. So. I'm going to put my ruler in the middle of my shape. Now, before I do that, I need to have a dot that shows the center of the shape. So, I have my dot, and with my dot, I'm going to cut my shape in half. So, that's the first part. I only have half. One, two. Two parts make half and half but i need a one two three four i need four parts which are called quarters so i'm going to again put my ruler across and through my shape there we go so now i have four parts which make a quarter one two three four these are quarters and it's now our job to color in two of them. So, when you're coloring boys and girls, be very careful. It's only two parts. I'm going to color these two parts so that I can show that I have colored the ones that they have asked me for. Take your time when you are making your, your fractions because if you make a mistake, that's okay, you can erase, but we want you to make sure that you do the right thing the first time. So I have colored in one quarter, and now I am coloring in a second quarter. Now I have two, one, two, two quarters. So this is how you're going to do it for the first one. The next one we're going to discuss is the one that says zero over two, zero halves. Now again, we have our shape, but we still need to divide it into twos because the denominator, the one at the bottom, is the one that's telling us how many pieces we need. Here, we said we needed four pieces one, two, three, four to make quarters. And here, we need two pieces to make them half. 
So again, we start by drawing a dot in the middle of our shape, and then we're going to cut it into half. So I'm going to cut it this way, across. Now that I've cut it across, which is also horizontally, we are now going to find out what we need to do or how many we need to color. The top number is the one that tells you how many you need to color. And in this case, we're not coloring anything because it says zero. All we needed to do was just cut our shape into half to make one half and another half. Now, the last one we're going to do together says three over three. This one says three thirds. That's because there are three fractions. One, two, three. So it's asking us to color three of them, which basically means the entire fraction. So when you're coloring boys and girls, make sure that even though it wants us to color the whole shape, make it clear that you do not go over any of the pieces or sections. Make sure that they are still clear and you are not coloring them so that anyone who sees your work can see that there are still three fractions that have been colored and not one whole thing. So there we are. The first one, we can see that two have been colored and that there are four pieces. The second one, we can see that nothing has been colored, but we have two pieces. The third one that we can see on the board shows that three have been colored and that they are also three pieces. So take your time, boys and girls, with the fractions. Have fun. You can use different colors for each of the shapes. Take your time, please, please, please. I cannot emphasize this because fractions sometimes can look easy, but sometimes they are difficult. Have fun and I'll see you soon after the advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over 10 different languages. To end our lesson today, boys and girls, let us all go to page five. On page five, we are going to be doing a reading comprehension. Oh good, because reading comprehensions, they help us with our vocabulary, they help us with our communication, and then they help us to understand. Remember, when we're doing a reading comprehension, we read the story three times. The first time is to make sure we understand what the story is all about. The second time is after we have read our questions at least once, so that we can get our answers. And then the third time is to make sure that anything that we have answered is correct. So we're going to start. We will start at the heading. Timo's red bicycle. Timo has a new bicycle. Some of the boys at school are jealous. It is a beautiful red bicycle with white stripes. He rides to school with his bicycle. His mother told him many times to be careful and stay as close to the side of the road as possible. His father bought him a lock and a chain to lock up his bicycle. One day, he left his red bicycle in front of Mr. Brown's shop. He didn't lock it. Someone took his bicycle. When Timo came back, his bicycle was gone. It's gone! It's gone! Someone has stolen my red bicycle! He cried. 
He was so afraid. What am I going to do? He sobbed. Oh, poor Timo. What a very sad story. It's not nice to take things that don't belong to you, boys and girls. And I'm sure you're feeling very sad for Timo. Now, let's take a look at our questions so that we can answer them. We will read each question twice. What is the color of Timo's bicycle? What is the color of Timo's bicycle? Why did his mother tell him to be careful and stay as close to the side of the road? Why did his mother tell him to be careful and stay as close to the side of the road? What lesson did Timo learn? What lesson did Timo learn? So now that we have read our questions, it's time to read our passage again for the second time. This time, I want you to be listening carefully as well as reading so that you can find your answers. We will start at the heading. Timo's Red Bicycle. Timo has a new bicycle. Some of the boys at school are jealous. It is a beautiful red bicycle with white stripes. He rides to school with his bicycle. His mother told him many times to be careful and stay as close to the side of the road as possible. His father bought him a lock and a chain to lock up his bicycle. One day, he left his bicycle in front of Mr. Brown's shop. He didn't lock it. Someone took his bicycle. When Timo came back, his bicycle was gone. It's gone! It's gone! Someone has stolen my bicycle! He cried. He was so afraid. What am I going to do? He sobbed. So, I want you boys and girls to start answering and make sure that when you do, you answer in full, which means make sure that there is a capital letter at the beginning and a full stop at the end of each of your answers. Take your time and don't forget to read it a third time. I will see you when you're done after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. Boys and girls, we have now come to the end of our lesson and I hope you had fun. I know I did. Remember, if something is too difficult or you're not sure what to do, that's okay. You can always ask an adult for help, but make sure that you finish your work by yourself. So now that we are done with our lesson, we need to sanitize. Remember, sanitizing is very important. So every time when you sanitize, try and ask the person next to you to sanitize as well. That way, both of you are staying safe. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. I wonder though, I haven't seen Soshi the whole day. He said he was going to come and visit me. I don't know where he is. Oh, <laughs> there he is. Hello, Soshi. So from Soshi and I, we would like to say thank you so much for joining us today. And goodbye. <laughs>
Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, My Zone Online School, Amos Mirkat Syllabus, and Capricorn Foundation.